Welcome to day 84 of the Guided Tour of the Bible. We are closing out Ezekiel with chapter 37 today. If you haven't read it, pause the video and come back and we will do the devotion. The Guided Tour of Ezekiel 37, Resurrection Time, a visual symbol of Israel's new life. Verse 3 says, He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? Why will Jerusalem be destroyed and Judah's enemies come to a violent end? God's answer, so that they will know that I am the Lord. This phrase echoes almost 60 times in the book of Ezekiel. Now, in a sudden change of tone, God uses that simple phrase to explain why he will bring about a time of future happiness. After all the gloom, Ezekiel at last gets to pronounce words of optimism and joy. When he prophesied doom, no one listened. But Ezekiel's predictions of disaster in Jerusalem came true. Now, after more than seven years of virtual silence, speaking only what God told him to say, he opens his mouth again, and this time, bright words of hope issue forth. No part of the book of Ezekiel captures the message of hope more dramatically than this startling vision of the Valley of Dry Bones, like a graveyard of scattered, bleached bones coming gloriously together to the deadest of the dead spring to life. Ezekiel's original audience is still trying to absorb the staggering news that the temple has been destroyed and God has apparently departed, but Ezekiel assures them that God has not given up on his people. God is returning home to live with them. Ezekiel's prediction that, the is that Israel and Judah will reunite no doubt thrills the exiles, who have been split into two nations, sometimes even at war with each other, for more than 300 years since the days of Solomon. Yet, like North and South Korea today, they have not forgotten their common origin. God promises to reunite the twelve tribes, even though ten of them have been in exile, dispersed among other nations for more than a century. The book ends with a shining vision of a newly rebuilt Jerusalem. Scholars disagree on whether Ezekiel's words apply literally or symbolically to the modern nation of Israel, but it is clear that the good news all the good news will affect the whole world. The triumphant name of that new city, the Lord is there. And today's reflective question is, where are you spiritually? With the dry bones, barely stirring, alive and well? And what about your church? So several questions to reflect on there. Uh, if you need to go back and play, and play those again, yeah, just skip back a, a few seconds and go to those. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.